I'm mostly a web tech kind of guy, sometimes a mobile app with web tech kind of guy, but I recently found myself in the position of needing to be a desktop app kind of guy. Naturally, Electron is immediately what I reached for. If you're not already aware, Electron basically allows you to build an app using whatever web tech you want, and then Electron will package it into a native desktop app which basically just runs a Chromium browser to render your application. It also makes it possible for your web-based application to interact with native APIs. If you're familiar with Ionic and Capacitor for mobile apps, it's essentially the same idea. The good news is this lets you build the application once and have it run across multiple platforms. The bad news is that people on the internet might tell you off for not building a real app. There are certainly trade-offs to consider, but I figure if Electron is good enough for VS Code and Discord, then it's probably good enough for what I need it to do. And it's actually surprisingly easy to get Electron up and running. Literally within minutes, you can have your very own desktop app running on your computer. So let's walk through doing that step by step. We are going to be using Angular for our renderer, which is the app responsible for displaying the UI, but you can follow a similar process using whatever you like. We are also going to be using an NX mono repo. We are going to have one application as our UI renderer and another application for the actual Electron application. So a mono repo is nice and allows us to easily share code between these separate applications and handle the build and deploy processes. Okay, so let's get things set up. First, we'll create a new NX workspace with the following configurations. This will create a workspace with a single Angular application already created for us, which will become our UI renderer application. Now from within that workspace, we are going to install the NX Electron plugin as a development dependency, along with Electron Builder, which we will also need to build and package the application. Now we can use that NX Electron plugin to generate the Electron application for us and set us up with some nice defaults. Technically, you don't need this plugin. You could wire this all together yourself, but it certainly makes it a lot easier. And notice that we point it to the Angular application that we are using as our UI renderer. The basic idea is that our Electron application will load up a browser window that points to our renderer application running either on localhost during development or directly to the built application files in production. Most of the work in setting this up is done now, but there are a couple of configuration changes we need to make. First, in the package.json file for the workspace, we need to add this build section that includes an ID for the application and a name. We will need to change the base href in the index.html file for our renderer application. And we will also need to open up the project.json file for our renderer application and change from the default builder to browser ES build. This is because since v17, Angular will now output the built files for the application inside of a browser folder, even if server-side rendering is not being used. In an SSR build, there would be both a browser and server folder generated. But for consistency sake, the same structure is kept now even for applications not using SSR. Having the built application inside of a browser subfolder, or any subfolder for that matter, causes problems with the build process we are using. By using browser ES build, which uses the same output behavior as before v17, we can replicate the old behavior when no browser subfolder is created. We should now be able to build both our renderer and Electron applications, and we can package the application. And now we have a desktop application that we can run on our computer just by clicking it. This is pretty cool, but it'd be a bit annoying to develop this if we needed to constantly manually rebuild and package the application every time we want to make a change. Plus, we don't currently have a way to use debugging tools, so let's make things a bit easier. We can use the open DevTools function to open up the standard Chrome DevTools. So we can modify this section in the app.ts file of our Electron application to launch the DevTools when we are running an unpackaged development version. And rather than packaging the application, we can instead just serve our renderer application and then serve our Electron application, and then we'll be able to view the app as well as the DevTools. This gives us a reasonably nice development workflow, but it's still a bit annoying to have to run two separate commands each time. And when we want to package our application, we also need to remember to make sure we run the build commands for both the renderer and Electron apps first. So let's deal with making packaging a bit easier first. We will need to find the package target in the project.json file for the Electron application. We want to make this package target depend on the build target. This means that every time we call the package target, it is going to execute the build target first. 
But we don't just want to build the Electron application, we also want to build the Renderer application. To handle this, we can also modify the build target of the Electron app to depend on the build target from the Renderer project. Now we can just call NX package Electron and everything will be handled automatically. It will build both of the applications first and then package it. Now we just need to deal with making serving during development easier. To do that, we will modify the serve target of our Electron application to reflect the following. We can't just use depends on here because a serve is a long running task that doesn't actually complete. So what I did was rename the existing serve target to serve electron. And then I replaced the previous serve target with an executor that will just run the serve commands of both the renderer application and the electron application. There might be a better way to do this, but this works well enough. The only downside is that if the electron app is served before the renderer application has finished serving, you'll just see a blank screen but this can be fixed by calling location.reload to refresh the app. Now we have the basic setup for our desktop application. Of course, there is much more to cover about how Electron works and there are many security considerations to be aware of. So let me know if you'd like to see me continue this series and dive into some of the more interesting aspects of building applications with Electron. And please feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you like the video and I hope you have a great day.